Hey guys, what's up? So I just want to take advantage of this moment that the rain has stopped because it's been raining heavy lately here in our area. And yeah, I just want to share with you what happened recently with my computer. So I think it was yesterday or the other day, my PC got attacked by ants. And they had a very specific uh, computer component in mind to devour if you would say and it was this part right here so this is my one terabyte seagate barracuda hdd and so yeah i was really wondering why of all the parts that's in my computer why why go straight for the mechanical hard drive i mean what's what's up with that maybe they found my stash of pictures of food maybe that's why they went for it but I don't know. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure that they weren't the ones that really um, ruined this hard drive because uh, as of the moment, it's I think it's dead. It can't be detected. I mean, it can be detected, but it's showing up blank and it makes my computer, it makes the boot times too long and to the point that it goes to um, check disk or something like that. It tries to fix the, the issue that it has with this and I tried manually doing a disk check which failed um, just when about it was uh, finishing uh, I think I got an error something but yeah it's uh, it didn't work right now it's still not usable and so yeah going back to what I was saying what really killed this hard drive is my brilliant stupidity um, so with ants all over it I tried blowing it off with my vacuum cleaner having it in reverse and um, I'm pretty sure the ants were just on the outer layer and on some other edges or cavities that can be they can like crawl into but i'm pretty sure they weren't able to get inside the platter but still with that in mind i wasn't really sure what i did was i cracked this open and then after doing research what should have gone first honestly i learned that you should never do that i mean um i, I i've watched a video of linus being in a facility where it's really designed for recovering or disassembling hard disk drives for restoration and they have these hazmat suits they these rooms that are specifically for designed for well uh, disassembling hard drives because it has it's 100 percent clean there's no dust anywhere everyone has hazmat suits everyone has masks and they have all those equipment because well even if a, a speck of dust reaches your hard drive platter, it's pretty much dead at that point. And the only way to, I guess, well, uh, at this point, the only way to be able to recover this is to have a an expert really tap into it. And aside from that, there's pretty much nothing I can do right now. And so that's this. It's it's um two thousand pesos. So I guess that's. 40 bucks and so I guess I, I learned a lesson worth 40 bucks and I guess it's okay I'm okay with that rather than crying about it what I did was really stupid though <laughs> yeah I tell you that and yeah so I hope you guys some of you guys will learn from my mistake don't open your hard drive ever um, not unless you're an expert or you have a specific room that is totally clean and free from dust because even if a line of hair gets into your hard drive platter that's also screwed and yeah never ever ever open your hard drive especially if you're not an expert if you think there's something wrong with it don't open it just get it to an expert you'll have much more um chances of recovering your files without spending much on your hard drive yeah so yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to share my experience with 
uh, it was interesting though what it looked like it's the, the platter was really clear uh, <laughs> it could be used like like a mirror I guess I could use it as a mirror but yeah that's it for this video see you guys soon